this is literacy okay explain to me how males want to be viewed and treated as i mean well since you ask see leaders don't make decisions based on emotions or feelings leaders make decisions based upon what is the best decision for the situation right now you and your feelings but there's something way more important in your feelings and those are facts so let me break it down to you if somebody hits a woman with a brick attacks a woman etc and i involve myself now i'm already dealing with a violent individual somebody who literally just hit somebody with a brick for almost no damn reason so i'm definitely getting some violence coming my way when i insert myself in that altercation now say while doing this i get hit with the brick and i die you taking care of my kids you gonna come to my house and make sure my bills are paid and everybody's good Shit, you're not even going to feed my dogs. So as an actual leader in my household, I make the executive decision to mind my motherfucking business. Because in doing so, I get home to the people who need me. See, the problem is that you and multiple people stitching your video and speaking on this situation are delusional to how the world really works. We live in a violent society. There are psychopaths everywhere violent individuals everywhere and if you go around pretending like you're an avenger you're gonna find out real quick that you ain't got no superpowers you won't be on a t-shirt i hope you got a nice suit because you're gonna need it you are not the police you are not a bodyguard shit you don't even have a security license jumping into situations like that with violent individuals is a really good way to spend your last day on this earth. Stop acting like we live in a safe world. Stop acting like everything's okay outside. If she was concealed carrying, she could have turned right back around and set something right back to the brick thrower. And I bet you his ass wouldn't have thrown a fucking brick again. And she would have been justified. She wouldn't have done a single day in jail. But if I intervened and I did something to the brick thrower, you'd be sitting in prison. And guess who wouldn't send me commissary? You or anyone else that's stitching videos on this damn topic. Guess who wouldn't come to my house and help with the bills, take care of my kids, or like I said, feed my dogs. Also you and everybody else who's in their emotions. But if you want to be a superhero, go ahead. Throw your cape on. Go out there, jump in every situation that you see going on. But remember this. Even Superman died in the comics. And in real life, the writers don't bring you back. 